We're going to stick now with the broad topic of science, energy, and by extension climate. When you're thinking about where to live, you probably consider things like affordability, how much space you're going to have, maybe school districts or how close you are to work, or maybe in Oregon, you know, your favorite spot in nature. But do you ever think about the way the community you choose to live in affects climate change. Now we bring this up because the New York Times published a project. It's looking at the climate impact of neighborhoods across the country, and it's one we think is worth your time. All right, it's called the climate impact of your neighborhood mapped and you can actually zoom right into your city. We're going to do it here and see what kind of impact your community is having on the planet. So per household, the darker green areas put out less carbon emissions than the national average. The orange areas put out more. You can see downtown Portland there. It's right in the middle, has the lowest carbon emissions. And when we zoom out of there, once you hit the West Hills on the left and in the neighborhoods north of 26 households putting out much higher levels. Now there are pockets where it does get better closer to the center of cities in the suburbs like Beaverton and Hillsborough and Vancouver. Most of the east side of Portland East Willamette does a pretty good job too, keeping their emissions lower. Now out in the rural areas, you see all that orange again. Again, this is based on research from the University of California at Berkeley and Eco Data Lab. Again, it is per household in those neighborhoods. So let's explain more. Researchers say in urban areas where things are closer together and there are better options for public transit or walking or biking, those areas put out less emissions again per household. So this kind of makes sense. You might not be driving as much. You might live in a smaller space that requires a lot less energy. According to the Times, researchers say there is another big factor in how much impact your neighborhood has on the planet how wealthy you and your neighbors are. All right, let's go back to the map of Portland. You can kind of see a clear dividing line there between the West Hills, one of the wealthiest areas of the city and the rest of the city. The suburbs we mentioned north of Highway 26 also tend to have higher incomes. Compare that to some neighborhoods in east side of Portland. People tend to have comparatively lower incomes in some spots. Also, it's denser. Bottom line, researchers say people with higher incomes tend to have a higher impact on the climate. Again, according to the Times, because they have bigger homes, buy more and travel more and move around more often by car. All right, this all came about because researchers say they wanted to take a closer look at the way our individual habits affect the planet rather than only looking at the big picture systems out there. The Times writes, quote, usually greenhouse gases are measured at the source. Power plants burning natural gas or coal, cows belching methane, or cars and trucks burning gasoline. But a consumption-based analysis assigns those emissions to the households that are ultimately responsible for them. The people who use electricity, who drive cars, eat food and buy goods. And they say that knowing which neighborhoods contribute more to the climate change, more to climate change. Again, this is per household can help local governments know how to focus efforts at fighting it and can help you at home know how to change your habits to offset your impact. I mean, most of you do already, but of course there are plenty of caveats here. You don't always get a say over how much transit access your neighborhood has, where your electricity comes from, how much you pay for it, right? Neighborhoods are shaped by policies that also go back decades. Okay, there is a lot more to dig into here. The Times gets into all of it. You can check out the entire article. Also compare Portland to other cities. I love the maps. Play around with the maps yourself. We've got a link to it through our social media.